Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where to find the right keywords to create AI artwork with Midjourney. Because I've seen artwork created with Midjourney that looks pretty horrible. So I want to help you with finding the right keywords. And I'm also going to show you a place where you can find inspiration to create these awesome artworks. And maybe you didn't know yet, but you can actually sell all those artworks on websites like Displate and other printing websites. So I'm going to show you exactly where to find them and stick around till the end so you know the whole process of creating these artworks. And if you didn't know yet, I have Photoshop courses in case you want to learn Photoshop. Because if you create everything with AI, you still need to do some tweaking and stuff like that. So it's a good thing to learn Photoshop. Check out my website where I have a lot of Photoshop courses and it will help you with creating better things in Photoshop. Alright, I'm gonna go into mid journey here and you can see here, this is all the artworks I created. I created quite a lot of artworks. It's over a thousand now and I'm not using everything. I'm just picking the best ones and from the best ones, I will export them to Photoshop and then upscale them and do some adjustments to the image to make it a bit better or change some stuff that I don't like. So what I do is I go to the explore page, which you can find here on the left side. And then you can see here, these are all artworks that are trending right now. So what you want to do is you want to look at these artworks. And if you like an artwork, for instance, and you like the kind of style, you just click on this image and down here, you can see the keywords that were typed. Now, this is also important part because here you can see every settings from the image. So what I usually do is let me create a new document. I will type the image that I want, like for instance, lion portrait lion portrait or something else whatever you like and after that i will start with adding the settings for the image so what i have here now is i make sure that the image is in the ratio for display because this plate has an own ratio so if you want to sell these ai artworks on this way you want to make sure you make them in the right ratio so it's easy for you to actually export them later in the right ratio right so what i do is i use ar like dash dash AR five by seven. This is a pretty good ratio for display. The only thing you have to do is to upscale them later on, but that's another story. And if you use V4, you can create really cool artworks, but now we also have V5. And this is like a new version of Mid Journey, at least once I release this video, it's quite new now. And they have really cool realistic artworks. And I can show you even here. So you can see if I click this one, this one has v4 and let's see another one maybe it's this one this one is already v5 and you can see the difference this looks a lot more photorealistic so you want to use v5 now it's even better with paws of animals with v4 there was a lot of weird stuff going on with the paws of animals and in v5 they actually they actually changed that and made it better so i'm using v5 now and for the for the keywords that i use i want to look at images this one this is not so interesting, very powerful National Geographic image, not so interesting. But you want to find a artwork that has like really cool stuff in it, maybe like this kind of style. And then just look at the keywords they are using, like this one, this one, this one. And you could just copy those and put them on your own artwork. So I'm going to do some, some text that I like. So for instance, I created this text and you can see here I use 5x7, U2 and P5. And these are the important stuff that you want to use when you create artworks and everything here before that is just the idea of your design. So I created this idea or I typed this idea and I'm going to go into discord and see what it makes. So you want to type slash imagine, click this and then just paste this there and let's see what will come out from this. Okay. After waiting a couple of seconds. I have the design ready by Mid Journey, and here it is. You can see this looks really photorealistic now. I can't even tell that this is created with AI. So you can see here we have four images that are created, and I actually like them all. So what I usually would do is I would just click on U2, U1, U3, and U4, and they will upscale all those images. And then I have all those images in my Mid Journey profile, and I will just download them. And what I do is I will even upscale them more to like really the big size for printing. So that's actually how easy it is. You can also create other variations by clicking on V1, V2, etc. But I like this one. I will use this one probably 
to sell on website like this plate and probably maybe other websites too so try it out it's really easy you just need to upscale your work and then you're good to go to sell them as prints so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and keep on creating